What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's Poppy JN. Welcome to That Dragon Cancer. I've been debating whether or not to play this game. Uh, mainly because there was someone very close to me that was going through cancer when this game came out. Um, and two weeks ago he unfortunately passed away. And I've, I've been debating for the last two weeks whether or not to play it. Um, but I kind of want to. I really do want to. Um, I'm going to do this all in one sitting. Um, this is this may get a little bit real for me, so I'm really sorry about that if it does. Um, and if I have to take a break, I'm sorry. Um, but I really did want to play this eventually, so we're going to get in. We're going to do this. It's going to be a lot slower paced, and I'm sorry about that, but I don't know. Come on this journey with me, why not? Bread on the water. Wow, the music's nice. This looks good. Oh, it's a little boy. And a ducky! <laughs> I like duckies. Little... Little rubber ducky pile. I like the little rubber duckies. Oh, I'm in control now. Oh, cool. Am I the duck? Shell of Joel. Am I Joel? Is that Joel? Oh, we get to get actually. Oh! Thank you! Is that Joel over there? Or... Eat the bread. Don't touch the birds. No, no, no. I'm controlling a bird. <laughs> Hang on, just give me one second. I just have to make sure subtitles are on really quickly. If there is a subtitle option, I'm not sure. No, there isn't. Okay. Sorry about that. Just wanted to make sure, just in case. There we go. He seems very happy. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, you gotta give him little pieces. He doesn't understand. Here you go, Joel. Here's a piece. Okay, no, you throw it. Joel's almost five, right? Joel's almost five. I'm Joel now? But he can't talk. <laughs> Joel yeah, no. got sick right after he turned one. Have a slow down a little bit, buddy. So he's just slower than most kids. I think eventually he'll catch up. I hope so. Yeah, I think Joel will read eventually. Well, Isaac, of course. He's just the way he goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, You're supposed to be a boy, but he's a baby. He's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's a boy baby. That's just about right. You know, there's lots of things Joel isn't good at, but there's some things he is good at. What is he good at? Eating, eating laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm good at making him laugh. You are good at making him laugh. Why, how do you make him laugh? I fall down. Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny when you fall down. He's gonna do it. Yeah. 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 This isn't even like serious yet, and I'm still I'm thinking about the person that I recently lost. I'm thinking about Nigel. Um 
Park at the edge of the world. I don't want I don't want to get too emotional because I don't want I don't want people to think that this is like that I'm faking for views or anything. Because I'm not in cups, bathtubs, and the warm wet tongues and the cool fur of thighs. Give me the sweet was of daily affection. And bye byes. Bye byes. And blown kisses. And more. Oh. Always more. <laughs> this full list of words. So few. Oh, I'm him now. The guy on the bench. This is kind of this is really cool. Like it's really well developed, and I really enjoy this. Let's go over the bridge. I like the bridge. I like bridges. Bridge to Terabithia, maybe. Who's <laughs> pain without a word? What is hope? Without a word for it. Who is God? What is joy? All very important questions. Well, there I am. Am I playing it? I'm playing as him, I guess. Who am I to him? <laughs> Dada. Dada. <laughs> Are you the same? Kid, or are you someone different? Give me a kiss. Can you give Zoe a kiss? Are you ready? Oh. Set. No. Set. Go. 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 Go, little dude. Go. Do it again. Good kiss. Good job, little dude. Are you ready? Yeah. Again? Yeah. So I get to do all these with him? Oh, I get to spin him. Oh, I get to shift viewpoints. This is cool. It's awesome. I hope, like, at the end of this, because uh, I'm guessing that the kid is going to end up being the one that's going through the cancer. Uh, I hope that at the end it doesn't say that he was real or something, because that? that would really hey. suck. Let's tell him, Kayla, that Joel's doing really well. Like, I'm sure it's based on someone, but I hope it wasn't an actual kid. He's been very peaceful. Go, little dude! Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic! Good job. Oh, yeah. Oh, do I get to do it again? I do get to do it again from his viewpoint. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. What's this? Oh, phone. Amy. Hey babe, just got done at the doctor. Um, now they think that maybe he's throwing up all the time because he has acid reflux. So they gave me a medication and we can give it to Joel and they said we have to give it at least three full days. Okay. And that if he's still throwing up after that, then we can come back. And I mentioned the head tilt thing again, even though they keep saying it's not related, but you always have to mention that one weird outlying thing. <laughs> So I told them how his head was tilted to the right, but they still say that that's probably not related at all. So okay. I guess we'll just give this a try, and I don't know, I'll tell you more about it when we get home. Okay. Swing! Oh, I'm gonna push him. Oh, that's great! <laughs> he just, he's, he's in a hospital, so they're taking care of him. And that's how he gets his food? His food goes through that too. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's sad. Touch him? But at such a young age, you know, you have to be fed through a tube that's in your, that's in your stomach. That's so sad. Go, little dude. Yeah. Is that all of them? What's this one? Oh, do I get to... I ride on the swing? Oh, cool. I'm riding right next to him. That's awesome. The other one's disappeared, but he's not disappearing. Do I just go back to the dad? Or do I wave? Oh, I wave. Okay. Well, what's down here? Oh, what's this? That's the cancer cells. Is that what it's representing? It's hitting me a little bit, um... Fear is cancer's preservative. Cancer's embalming oil. And you, O oh accuser, are fear's oil sales. You're a snake. A serpent, a dragon with snuffed out coal on his breath, molting, talons broken from the struggle to free yourself of your own skin. Okay, that dragon cancer. You see, when, when, I don't want to say his last name because I don't want his family to, to know, but when Nigel was in the hospital, he was getting weaker and weaker, and... It was really sad. I mean, it was like a second dad. So it was it was really, really hard for me to watch. I can't even imagine what it would be like for two parents to be going through this with kids. Um, on hospital time. So, I don't know, it's, it's hitting me a little bit. Because it has been so recent, it was two weeks ago um, that he died, and I don't know it's still kind of raw, and oh. Hey, do you want a rock? Okay, let's rock. There we go. Getting all teary eyed. And... <sighs> Grab your phone. Joel can hear better than he's supposed to be able to because I know like it's supposed to be moderate to severe hearing loss but sometimes like today he hears music playing before I do so I saw him dancing and I had to look around to hear that a song was playing and I just don't <laughs> like if his hearing loss is that bad I can't imagine 
I don't know. I just wonder about it. Anyway, call me later. Bye. What the hell is happening? What's happening? Ah. Uh. What do I do? Did I do good? Oops. What? Oh. Aww. Sleeping with him. More cancer cells. Ah. So I think the idea of this is for it to show like you get a couple of cancer cells and then it just spreads and there's it gets to a point where there's nothing you can really do to stop it um and i think this is what this is gonna represent so i think yeah What are you, are you a cell? What are you? Oh. Go little dude. Have some fun. I think that's what I'd do if I found out that I had that. If I found out I had cancer, I'd be trying to make so many good memories. Even though it would be really hard to do, I'd be doing everything that I could to make sure that everything's positive and make sure that all my memories are good. Oh no. I'm gonna pop all of his balloons. Yeah. Hey, Joe. What do I... Oh, hey. Oh, hi. I just wanted to take a shower. Is that okay? Are you okay with Joel? Okay, thanks. Oh, am I a hospital worker or something now? Oh, it's a doggy. I'm gonna call you Sam. Sam. Oh. Some entertainment, so I didn't joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doggy kisses, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Aww, that's so cute. That's so cool. Oh, am I doing it again? Okay. See, at least they're making good memories, and that's the important thing. The door. This is well shot as well. Like, it's a really well thought out and designed game. I know, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm a lot more quiet than I usually am, it's, I'm just processing a lot of stuff. <laughs> games like these make you think, and that's why I feel games like Presentable Liberty, and, uh, The Beginner's Guide, and all that kind of stuff, they really are good. End of Treatment Party. That's why I think those games are really good. Because in many ways they help Brittany. Oh, is this a real person? <laughs> Color of Valor. <laughs> wow. I'm not going to be able to look at everything, but I do want to check out some stuff. Family in color. Unusual gravity. <laughs> Star white hippo. Oh, that's so cool. Dance like no one's watching. Offspring by Chris Abbey. Wow, there's so many artworks. Oh, Untitled. <laughs> Dad drawing. <laughs> Claire's first singer painting. Untitled. Henry and our Oliver. Peggy's Cove. <laughs> wow. I, just, I, I can't look at everything, but um, I will look at some stuff. Oh, phone. Amy! Wait, why didn't I... Why did it freeze? Hey, I'm cleaning up eggs again. A right. dozen eggs on the kitchen floor again. So we have to get a new lock for the fridge. Do you... <laughs> oh, it's so, so hard to clean Is up eggs crying? on the floor. 
Like, they just spread around, and they don't come clean no matter what you do. So, I was just so frustrated, but... You should have seen them together. They were so proud of themselves. Joel and Elijah just sitting there with their eggs. Isaac said he thinks they want to be cookers. <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. And is, is this meant to, like, symbolize different families that are going through the same thing? Like, hearing all the crying and stuff? starting in about 30 minutes that would work and we could throw in that lasagna um do you know how they celebrate off treatment day like when kids are done with their treatments i i guess maybe you don't because you're not in the clinic as much as i am but on someone's last day they always bring them a cake and they say Aww. happy off therapy day to you <laughs> anyway that happened today i mean it happens a lot but today i cried i just wanted that day so bad you know I just like we're not ever gonna get that day if he's better we won't know that he's better we don't get a day anyway okay call me if you can like it's probably traffic so I could talk on my way home all right bye that's hard man <clears throat> that's really hard knowing that you as a parent like your kids not gonna get that kind of day that's hard Oh god. Steer your car. Okay, let's g Oh god. I got a crazy baby on my back. No! Oh no! What are you doing? Oh, booyah! Whoa! Alright. Booyah! Chicken! Hey! This is cool! Oh, whoa, whoa, spun myself out! Spun myself out! Oh, jeez! Yeah! Oh, no, those were like lumbar punctures and everything. Radiation treatments and everything. Well, how long is it going to be before we can have some answers? Did anyone ask the doctor? Okay, is it just the doctor on call or is this our doctor? Well, because the what is happening? Is just a resident. It just seemed like yesterday in clinic they were going to let us go. I just want to know what the plan is. The decline. Hey, isn't it dangerous for him not to get it that moment? Hey, Joe. So this is like how it kind of goes. So you have him sitting out here while they're in there talking about what to do. That's sad. Like, that's really sad. I feel for people, really, that have to go through all this kind of stuff. That's hard. Especially, like, parents. I, I can't even comprehend how difficult that must be. Temple of Man. Okay. The 
Fair enough. Do I just... Ah, uh, right. Is this an MRI or something? Is. That's so hard, man. I can't even imagine for a parent having to watch this. Again. I love you, my friend. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> you catch it right here, then the big lion comes. Okay. The not a scary lion. It's so loud. I can roar. That's why I can. Yeah, hear me roar. Wow! <laughs> Don't be afraid. You might want to cover your ears. It is loud. <laughs> Here comes the animals. Tearsaws is my flavor. Wow. Oh, I can move stuff. That's cool. Oh, I can make him ride on the different animals? That's so cool. That's really cool. So cool. That's cool. <sighs> this is hard because. You're progressively watching someone get worse and worse and worse and weaker and weaker. And waking up. <laughs> and it's rough for me because it's been very recent that I've had to go through this with someone that I really care about. Um, and again, I, I saw him like a month before he died. And... He was so weak, you know, and it was, it was really hard.
I'm gonna stop talking about it because <laughs> oh, I don't want to be able to continue this doing this. Terrible routine. Watching you, <laughs> waiting for you to wake, hoping you will never remember these days of illness and treatment. <laughs> One day, I'll bring you here, show you your tiny handprints on the wall. Aww. <laughs> you'll be annoyed that we all think of you as some big miracle. <laughs> Cancer will be such a small part of all you could grow to be. Oh, that's so cool. You will tire of hearing about it. You won't want to see the cards and notes I saved. Oh, these are all Not cards? All. I'll hold the memories of this hard day. You these are all people that died of cancer. <laughs> Hugs to all of my UIHC kids and families. Greg Rice. No, I don't. Uh, Greg, I've already read your card. Come on. Someone else's go. To everyone who's ever died of cancer, especially my father and grandmother, rest in peace, Hank, Marsha, and all the rest of you beautiful, beautiful people. I hope that whatever's become of you you're presently better off than you were at the end of your life. We miss you. Bradley Suet, 1979 to 1983. Miss you always. It's only four years old, man. Oh god, there's so many. I really don't want to read all of these, because... But have no fear, our story's just begun. Elsie, we love you dearly and miss you daily. See you soon. <sighs> it's really hard. Still love, I still love you, girl from Mars. We belong to each other. Uh, I'm not going to read all of these. Um, I'll read some, but not all of them. I shall cover you with my hand until I have passed. Antonio Martinelli, your grandson is terribly sorry and misses you so much. I'm only going to read a couple more because Chloe and Benji are special ones. Love mommy and daddy. <laughs> Boyce and Madeline Holy Peter, beloved parents and grandparents. This just shows it doesn't matter what age you are, and you can still be affected by this. In honor, in honor, in honor of Samuel Cox, I will hold you in my heart forever. Rest in peace, Mum Nelly Teven. Love Rich, Car, and G Kids. Alright, one more. Amanda, we love and miss you. We'll see you again. That's really 
hard, man. I'm sorry, guys, it's not good. Oh, yes, spinny wheel. Cow says moo. It's one of those things, isn't it? Former Bill plays building blocks with the cows. <laughs> Former Bill plays fetch with the pigs. <laughs> And the ducks. In the winter, Farmer Bill plays hockey on the pond with the ducks. Farmer Bill always wins, but the ducks perform mightily. <laughs> <laughs> when the ducks work together, they can fly Farmer Bill to town. <laughs> Do I just keep going with this? Okay. <laughs> See, it's good in these kind of circumstances if you can make a child laugh. Farmer Bill can control space and time. Wait, what? I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Rewind. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Dad? Size matters. If I know how big it is, I can, I can face it. I can size it up. And it's quite small at this point, but unfortunately, oh, even the hands are shaking. Important. Any recurrence means the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. I've imagined it a lot, but not like this. It's different. I thought I would sob uncontrollably or puke just right on the floor. I thought I'd shake or wail or something. I guess this is shock. Tragedy, he said. That's right. That's the perfect word for this. It's a tragedy. It is a tragedy. I wonder if he says that every time. He's crying a little. I love him for that. He's not callous. He's genuinely sad. She is too. So there just aren't any treatment options that are curative. So now we get inside the doctor's minds. And their viewpoint on everything. We're very good at end of life care. We're very good at managing the pain and masking symptoms at the end of life. How long are we talking about? Prediction time again. No matter what I say, they'll wish it was longer. But sometimes longer is worse. A few weeks to maybe four months. It's not enough time. He's so young, he's like five. Is Nick crying? How long are we talking about? How am I going to hold it together now? A few weeks to maybe four months. Oh, miracles are 
are scary. How long are we talking about? A few weeks to maybe four months. Miracles are scary. I have to agree with you on that. Four months? What is that? February? So we have Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Joel's birthday, maybe Valentine's Day? And that's it? And, oh, we still haven't told anyone I'm pregnant. Aww. Too scared they'd think it was irresponsible. And now this? They all think it's a replacement baby. I don't want a replacement. Well, the radiation could probably kill the tumor we see now, which would prevent it from causing any symptoms. But it would not keep more tumors from developing. Because we know if it's spread here, it has spread other places too. So... The radiation would buy us some time. No, nothing will really buy us any time at this point. It just can make the time you have left more comfortable. We'll schedule you to come back in Monday, and we'll have some options for you to consider. We're so sorry. Dad. In the movie, I'd be kicking things and throwing chairs through windows. Amy would be sobbing back against the wall, slowly falling. I should be yelling. Why am I not yelling? Thank you. That means a lot. You're welcome. I'm sorry, guys. It's not good. Yeah, But unfortunately, the size isn't terribly important. Any research in the chemotherapy has failed. This is a tragedy. With an ATRT, as soon as you have a recurrence of the time, it is fatal. It is only a matter of time before it spreads to several locations. We've already thrown all the chemotherapy we have at it. We can't continue to give chemotherapy that we know is resistant to. So there just aren't any. Getting that news, man, that would... That's rough. That's really rough. Adrift. And this is a complication now. They have to take care of a son. They, they have another child on the way. I imagine what kind of strain that would put on two parents. My duck. I have so many things stirring around in my spirit that I have to write to settle myself and find God's wisdom in the midst of chaos. I'm scared I won't be strong enough to face the things we might have to face in the coming weeks and months. But then. I remember how much grace God gave us to walk out everything we've already faced. I've never felt completely overwhelmed, and I've never felt alone. So no matter what comes next, and I truly cannot even begin to guess how this will go, I know we will be carried. I want to shout out 
Look what God is about to do. Watch how he delivers Joel. And at the same time, I'm going to roll up with a silent ball and wait it out with fear and trembling, so aware of all my doubt, but yet convinced that my doubt is insignificant compared to God's faithfulness. And that's another thing, is when people go through crises kind of like this, they turn to religion. Um, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. Um, it's probably a very good thing to cling on to something in, in, in the middle of all this kind of stuff. That would be... Did you even check for his love? Here we go. Another one. I had been in this room with my father before, during the brief window where he wasn't dying but was instead getting better. That wasn't the man I saw this time. I saw the other one. The one who cried out and needed holding. The one who fell asleep for 20 seconds and then woke up a different person each time. There was a clear part right in the middle of him, a minute or so, where everything was calm before his tour of hell resumed. That was goodbye, even if no one said it. I don't think I will ever get better after having seen that. I think this is the kind of knowing that stays with you. I can reach into my pocket now and find it there. I'm sorry again that I'm not saying much, but I've got so much going through my mind right now. The ravenous reverie of waking is but a distant memory. Or was it a dream? I can't remember the last time I woke up hungry. Not so long ago, carefree, welcoming the challenge of yoga on paddle boards, springing through the rain and over puddles at the reservoir track. <laughs> Weathering several storms since entering the first battlefield over two years ago. A succession of precise scalpels, high energy beams, and pharmacological strategies. A journey no one asks for. Still standing, spirit unyielding, but not the same. With each treatment an imprint, evidence of what came before. Willing rogue mutinous cells to yield to my current tailored chemical onslaught. Stay put and do not multiply. Or better yet, disappear altogether by the will of God through the tools of modern medicine with the support of family and friends onward wow I am at Seattle Children's Hospital and nobody wants to be here even as an internationally recognized temple of healing Every inch of it is terror. Every cubic inch of every room that is not occupied by terrified children and terrified parents is filled to its capacity with a terror wholly unique to that family, which no other person has any power to comprehend. There is art on the walls and rooms, which is designed to evoke a jungle of some kind, and I resent it. Every giraffe is my sworn enemy. Right. Even though every natural law indicates it, even though popular culture is rife with examples, even though the arc of his condition moved with haste in a particular direction, specifically down, I was very surprised when my father died. I was surprised that he could. It wasn't merely naivete. Those afflicted with his particular cancer number less than 100. It is the sort of cancer that excites a doctor. One of the things that is so exciting about this cancer is that it apparently didn't form the hard masses we use to find the disease. Rather, it converts the meat of your abdomen into a kind of undifferentiated doom. What might happen is that they will attempt to draw your blood and instead draw out the green syrup that was once your guts. Shortly thereafter, 
they will tell you and your family that the fight is over. It's <sighs> hot, man. Oh, this picture. to next. Back to the room. Oh, over here. Okay. We've been through so much already. This is a new degree of tragedy, but it's not so much different from the struggle we've already been living. We pressed into God. We pressed into faith. We fought until we found peace. We stood in peace when our flesh wanted to strive more. We stood in peace when it started to feel like laziness or foolishness or both. <laughs> we waited for God to direct us specifically in prayer because all the directions we had initiated had not panned out. We prayed for no nausea because that's what we felt in our spirits we were supposed to pray, even though we'd prayed it countless times before while Joel continued to vomit. We saw one small miracle and then another. We waited to pray specific things until we were given specific direction and we saw bigger miracles. And yet, if you asked either of us if we were doing enough, trying hard enough, we would say no. It's hard, man. It's... <sighs> That's really hard. I can't even... Doing everything that you physically and it can, um, and still feeling like you could, you're, like you're not doing enough. Dear it's hard. Eli, I feel nothing but pride for the way you battled cancer. I remember the way you learned to ride your tricycle down the hospital hallway and set it down the sidewalk like other three-year-olds. It was hard for me to pray to God, "Thy will be done," when I really just wanted so desperately for Him to heal you. In the four and a half years that you dealt with harsh treatments. Only once did you ask why God let you get cancer. Aww. I hope he has been able to explain the why to you, as I have always believed that he knew how strong you were and wanted to use you and your situation to positively impact so many lives. I remember how you never let me go to bed without telling me that you loved me and how those were your very last words to me. Aww. You taught me what was truly important in life, son. Still now, years after you left Earth, people are impacted by your life and the lessons you taught us. Thousands of people from around the world read your blog and still feel such a strong connection to you, even though they never met you in person. Wow, man. You would be happy to know that we continue to sell the Beat Cancer t-shirts that you love so much. We're still using them to raise awareness and funds for childhood cancer research and family and patient support programs. When you passed away, my greatest fear was that you would be forgotten. So many people still talk about you and how you changed their lives. That is such a precious gift to me and your father. Eli, you truly impacted more lives in your almost eight years on earth than many people do in a lifetime. I love you, buddy, and I can't wait to see you again. Love, Dad. It's so hard, man. <sighs> it's good that something positive As came out of it, but... Day draws to a close. I am tired, but not sleepy. My face is puffy from crying. I have a dry throat and dry hands, a slight headache, and a desire to write down absolutely everything. I want to describe the feeling of being entirely empty and entirely resolute. I want to explore how I can be deeply sad and incredibly hopeful at the same time. I want to talk about holding Joel's hand walking down the hall wanting to soak in the moment to memorize the feeling of having his hand and mine to let it matter and then hating that my thoughts swing to because what if I can't hold his hand one day and hating that thought wishing I could just appreciate each second of Joel without that appreciation spilling into the pre-morning I refuse to do because I believe he will live. 
But instead of fighting the brief thoughts of mourning, choosing to fight instead that lie that says that those thoughts betray some doubt, some mistrust of God, when I know that those thoughts make me human, that God knows I am human. He doesn't make Joel's victory dependent on me never feeling unsure. I was gonna say, can I just skip over this part? Cause it's, it's really hard for me to do this. Over here next, yeah. So, how long will we be in California? Um, whew, I don't actually know. That's kind of why we're packing up everything. It's because if the trial is really bad, right, I think we only have a couple, a couple left, a couple of uh, <coughs> locations. I remember the day I was diagnosed. I remember the hallucinations from the high fever of five-year-old's nightmares. I remember my mother silently weeping in the doctor's office. I remember friends and family gathered around my hospital bed in prayer. I remember the two-hour ambulance ride to St. Jude where they could better care for me. I remember the two and a half years of weekly chemo treatments, the numerous lumbar punctures and bone marrow aspirates. I remember Doctors Bell, Dahl, and Kalinsky, Nurses Jean, Judy, and Dale, Miss Chris in social work, Darlene in travel, all part of the team that cared for me. I am a walking memorial to their successes. I remember the other patients I'd see each time I went to the hospital for chemo. I remember when some stopped coming. I knew what that meant. I remember the years of summer camp for children with cancer, children like me. I remember their laughter and the midnight talks of fears and joys, normal kid stuff, some less so. I remember when some stopped coming. I knew what that meant, yeah. but I remember them. I am and other survivors are memorials to those who lost their fights. It's very true. Uh, I need to just I'm not trying to like be disrespectful and stuff, but I really oh, just needed to stop reading so those. Maddening sometimes. Do you know what she wrote on the eve of Joel's first surgery? The one back in January when we first found the tumor? I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. I'm pleading for God to spare his life. And I'm tempted to despair because self-inspection leads me to conclude I shouldn't expect much of anything. And yet my wife is expecting a surprise party from the Lord, replete with presents and supernatural miracles. I envy her. Well, that's it. You have to hold on to something in situations like this. Joel the baby knight. I'm just going to take a little break here because I need to just kind of recapture myself a little bit. Alright guys, we're back. We are back. Just need to... Come in bed, boys. Here we go. Let's go. Boys. Get in bed. <laughs> oh. Can you at least tell us a story? Once upon a time, in a land. Over there. Um, <sighs> sure. Oh. Okay. This is the story of a very brave knight <laughs> named Joel. Joel uh, the baby knight? Yes. Joel the baby knight. Joel the baby knight. Also, Joel the very brave knight <laughs> was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. 
why are you telling him his own story? Or is this the kid that was born after? Um, in a forest. Whoa. Is the dragon big? Very big. Whoa. Does the dragon breathe fire? Yes. Whoops. So much fire, you guys. Got him. So, Joel has armor. Oh, like nice. A sword and a shield and stuff? Ooh, or maybe a spear? Booyah! Yeah, that sounds good. So, so brave Sir Joel with his sword and his shield and his awesome spear and eh. super jumping. I don't know. Was being chased by a dragon named Cancer. What other superpowers does he have? Uh... He also has... Oh, he does have good points. jumping powers. Here we go. That's not a superpower. <laughs> It's the best superpower. Can you guys know how great it is? Yeah, it's kind of like helps. Yeah, it's kind of like help. God dang it. Oh, jeez. Hi. There we go. Thank you, Eagle. You know, and he's not the only one who's ever fought oh, yeah. this dragon. Some very brave knights have fought this dragon and been lost. And some are able to drive the dragon off, and then they can go home, and they can put fighting for a while. kingdom and the city. Joel's been fighting this dragon for a long time, huh? A long time. But Joel found a nice empty cave where <laughs> he could rest, and it seemed like the dragon couldn't find him. Seems like a little bit of an inappropriate thing to be telling your kid. Was passed, the dragon found his hiding spot and came after him in the cave. No. Well, that dragon's going to kill you. Joel's going to lose. Why do you say that? Because Joel is just a baby. Babies can't kill dragons. Uh-oh. You're right. A baby can't kill the dragon. Uh. But that's the best part of this story. God fights for Joel. So I'll get out of here. that dragon cancer right with Joel. And we know that God can uh -oh. live even if Joel can't. That's great. Oh, no. 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 Ah, oh, dang it. Tim from church, mom. He died from cancer. Wasn't God fighting for him? Didn't he have a Oh, jeez. Tim fought so well. And he was so brave, so strong. God let him rest. It may have seemed like a dragon god rest. Oh, no. We know that Tim's in heaven and that he's with God and that God is so proud of him. This is a really rough story to be telling. I'm guessing like a five, six year old. That's really rough, man. Drown it. Over here. Ryan! Oh, Ryan, what are you. Ryan? <laughs> I can't. You have to, you'll drown. We're already drowning. Aww. How can you sit there like that? Despair doesn't help anything. <laughs> Neither does false hope. And I'm not despairing. How can you say false hope? You're drowning! Well, you're missing your oars! And you don't even know where you're going! And yet you're so sure you're gonna get there! It's better than drowning! Well, 
Enjoy floating on the surface like you always do. There's nothing deep about drowning. Just get in the boat. You have to let me feel this. Someone has to. That's not fair. It would be taking a strain so I much on the relationship. I just really believe we're going to be okay. It's hard, man. Alright, let's read a note. I'm sure my expectation looks like denial. But seeing Joel dying does not make me any less certain that he will be here. In some ways, I feel more certain. Not because the same doubts don't come to me, but because I know that they will not be entertained much longer. Because this chapter is almost finished, and we will have an ending one way or the other. So the doubts and fears that make me reaffirm that even if I'm wrong, this is where I stand, become less and less powerful. Wow. This is rough, man. It would be really hard to go through this stuff, I would imagine. Like, being the family, having to go through this. It'd be so hard. Oh, did I do it? I did it. Finally. That one was that one was weird. You had to push him down. Dehydration. Huh. Where's Joel? The sunset looks pretty from here. The orange glow cast on the wall, better than the muted colors of this hospital. I wonder why they choose blues and greens. <laughs> they, the Me ones who meant choose to be the colors that heal. Green for life. Blue. Hmm. For comfort? Purple Maybe. stripes to hide the stains. <laughs> huh. This chair is too small and sticks to my skin. I hate vinyl. Do we leave? What do we... What do we do? Why is there a game in there? That's crazy. Mm, purple. Hmm. <laughs> the ocean, maybe? No. Under mm. the ocean. Silent. Warm and salty, like tears. Okay. He's getting a little bit suicidal. He won't stop crying. I don't blame him. He feels miserable. I hate that we're here. I hate that he's sick. I just want him to feel better. Where is he? Don't. 
Where is he? <laughs> Here we go. Bouncing around. <laughs> Do you like that? Oh, I love your giggle. Bounce around. <laughs> Is oh, that here? funny? A bounce, a bounce, a bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> oh, he won't stop crying. I'm hungry. I wonder if he's hungry. Phone. He's screaming louder. Buddy, don't you want juice? He hits the box. I don't catch it. Doesn't want juice. Do I have to go through each thing? <laughs> he drinks it greedily. Big, deep gulps. Okay, Jolie, that's enough. Breathe, kiddo. And he does. And I wipe his face of snot and tears and juice. And then he vomits. Love I it. I always catch it. I know you're thirsty, buddy, but you'll throw it up. No, don't grab too hard. You'll squirt all the juice out. Here, let me have it. What do I do now? I hate this room. I didn't used to. For a, for a moment, it was an adventure. I was cast as the compassionate and caring father, holed up with his fragile son in a small cleft in the rocks. The storm raging, waves ripping at the sharp black rocks below, and enveloped in my arms, he feels safe, and I am holding him firmly, trying not to slip. Because if you hold tight enough, nothing will take him. Right? So sad. I don't know what he wants. It's so late, Joel. Lay down. Why is I he not there? You. I can't make you feel better. Is there a glitch in my game? Okay, buddy, okay, I'll hold you. I think there's a glitch in my game. Oh, Joel Bug. You look so miserable. No! Don't hit your head on the bars, Joel. Joel! Joel! I know you're mad. Please stop. Please. St stop. I shake, I weep, I pray, I plead, I need peace. I am empty. You are. Son, not. and you've brought us this far. He's still here, not dead, not there, with you. God, I want to be here with me. Please. Ah. Peace. He sleeps. This is getting really hard.
pace. Be still. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus and his disciples are on a boat. And a furious storm hits the sea and everyone thinks they're going to die. Where do you think Jesus is? Rowing alongside them? No. He's asleep. In the back of the boat. So his disciples are freaking out and wake him up and they say, Don't you care if we drown? So Jesus gets up and he says to the storm, quiet, be still. And the sea becomes completely calm. Wow. Then he asks his disciples why they are so scared and if they have any faith at all. Like he was frustrated with them. Because even though Jesus said, let's go to the other side of the lake, his disciples thought he was gonna just let them die. Oh, I'm bird watching this. Oh. So Joel died. Everyone does eventually, I suppose. Again, people just, in times like these, they stick to does, faith. Will Jesus even care? Will he weep for him as he did for Lazarus? Will he weep for me? I think greater than my fear of death is that of insignificance. Or rather, my default assumption is that my thoughts and passions and loves and the stuff of my being are insignificant. How could the creator of all that is and ever was love my son as he did Lazarus? And could my soul stranded on this blue raft awash in a sea of stars, ice and dust matter enough to him to turn his hand in mercy? Again, I can't imagine just what people would go through Jesus during this Lazarus. kind of stuff. Five minutes later, he raised Lazarus from the dead. What's this? Oh. I'm sorry. I should have known we both end up in the same place. We always do. It just scares me every time. I just really believe he'll be healed. I, I know you believe too, just when you act like that, I get all unsure. I don't know that. What do you mean? I just hope that. I don't know. Gotta hold on hope. Because in the end, that's all you got. Really? bit of hope that things will eventually get better and if they don't 
then you still have to hold on to that hope. Temple of God. Hey, Joe. All right, kids. You know what time it is. It's got an iPad. <laughs> Really bright. Wow. Again, in moments like these, you have to turn to something because it's difficult to get through just by yourself. You do need something else that's helping you during a process like this. Oh Lord my God, let this boy's life return to him. Oh. Lord, rise up. My God, come save him. I will not let you go unless you bless him. Oh Lord, my God, let this boy's life Lord, return to him. Oh Lord, my God, let this boy's life return to him. My God, come and save him. Light some candles. This is it.
gone. That's really sad. Aww. He was not in the wind. He was not in the earthquake. He was not in the fire. He was here in a gentle whisper. Mm hmm. Is that it? Picnic at the edge of the world. To Amy. From Ryan. So here we are. And the air is emptier without his laugh, and yet our hearts are still full, but with a different drink. And this ride we've been on for so long is silent. And so also the Lord. And so we sit here in this new silence and long for the music to start again and for the disc to spin again, even if it means going round and round for many more years. Gone. For at least we would be moving and Joel would be laughing here on earth and not only in heaven. But in this space, I sense his silence is only because he is drawing his breath. And now we know love and longing, empty and full, all in one moment. And I am grateful that we loved him well and that we miss him well. And I hope that in the Lord's next breath, he will whisper his love song to you, his beloved. And that you will know him differently and more deeply. But now, we grieve in silence, yet not without his presence. Wow. And this is where we started it. This is where we started the game. We're heading back to where we were. Sure. I remember you. You made it too. I'm glad you're here. I love it here. I bet you would like it too. Look at all of these pancakes. Did you ever see pancakes like this? The big and me. A big one is for me. A little one is for my dog. I always wanted a dog, and now I got one. I even got to name it. Mandrew. Mandrew. That's awesome. Whoa, bubbles? I love bubbles. Man, you don't catch a bubble. She likes to bite them. She likes to bite them. Look, I can catch one. I want more bubbles. I love the bubbles. I 
How do I do this? Is there a rainbow in the pebble? I'm Jimmy and you have another pancake. I can eat whatever I want. I never fall. <laughs> These are the best pancakes that I ever had. I love them. Man, you love syrup. <laughs> Me too. Syrup is my favorite party. So let's keep the bubbles going. So this is meant to represent heaven. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I mean, it's sad for it's sad that the person is gone, but on the flip side of that, their suffering ended. So it's a double-edged sword, kind of. Is that the end? Thank you for playing. That was really... <sighs> for Joel Evan Green. Oh, it was real. So it's designed by his parents. Yeah. It's so sad. Oh, people actually kickstarted this. That's great. I'm gonna let you guys finish watching this. I, I don't want to finish. Like, I don't want. I'm just gonna stop the face cam here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys being here with me. Take care.